welcome back to and this guides in today's video we are going to show you how to add filter drop down in tableau let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in tableau i need you to click the sign up option and from here just to follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Adding a filter drop-down in Tableau allows users to interact with your dashboard by selecting specific data points they want to view. Now, I'm going to a specific uh, uh, tab here around the performance. And for me to be able to add a drop-down menu, what I'm going to do is add a filter for now. All right, so um, here on the uh, search option, there's going to be um, a lot of um, things that you can choose. You have like tables, people, returns, and a lot more parameters even. I want you to, what I'm going to do is different from the data that I am currently working on. But again, um, this method is applicable to any data, all right? In my, my case, I'm going to be selecting region. And I'm going to use this one, maybe region for now. Now, I'm going to drag and drop the region on filters, as you can see. Now, I'm going to have a lot of options when I drag the filter um, in this data. I can, of course, have a central, east, south, and west, which is I can select from list or custom value list or use all. But I'm, I'm going to just stick with the select from list. I also have an option for the wildcard condition and top. But I'm sticking to the default for now. Click on apply. Going with OK. Right. You see, there's going to be an um, option here when you edit the filter. I want you to show the filter here. So it's a lot easier to work with the uh, data that you are currently working on. Because the filter drop downs allows users to customize their view by selecting specific data points or categories of interest. For example, is it going to be all? Is it going to be um, by region? You see, users now can explore the data on their own terms, digging into areas of interest without needing to modify the underlying workbook or seek assistance from the dashboard creator. It's, this is very helpful if you're working with multiple freelancers or with, with their client, and of course, with the company or organizations that you are part of. Now, for example, um, during live presentations, filter drop downs here, for example, on the year date, can be used to dynamically showcase different data views, making their presentation more engaging and responsive to audience questions or interest. Of course, you have all of the options like um, this at the, at the bottom. You see, you can also edit colors if you wanted. So there's a lot that you can do here. I'm going to choose this. Blue 10, click on OK, and that's that. All right. Now, if you ask me, adding a simple filter here, for example, let's do another one. It's a simple yet powerful tool to make your Tableau dashboards more interactive, efficient, and effective for a wide range of users because you customize this view for different users without altering the main dashboard. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.